Hey everyone, Cody here. And if the Bible teaches anything, it is to forgive. And there are many, many verses, but today we're looking at 12, 17 through, yeah, Romans 12, 17 through, well, the end of the chapter, essentially. And now I've got the pages mixed up, so it is 21. Okay, so Romans 12, 17 through 21. Do not repay anyone evil for evil be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone if it is possible as far as it depends on you live at peace with everyone do not take revenge my dear friends but leave room for god's wrath for it is written it is mine to avenge i will repay says the lord on the contrary if your enemy is hungry feed him if he is thirsty give him something to drink in doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. So I want to talk about this because we live in a society where well, we live in a society um, where people want to get even, where we want to take revenge. We want to, you know, basically pay someone back for the things that they do to us. We live in a very retaliatory um, environment. But the problem with this is that when does it end, right? And doing this, like getting even. So if someone hurts you, you try to hurt them back the same or more. It is basically following the law, the, the law of the Old Testament. You know, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Or if somebody hurts you, then you would get, you would exact some kind of payment from them. But the problem with that is that then you're just, you're, you're making it about you and making it even in human terms. But things will never be even. So even if you got them back for like the same level, now in a lot of cases that creates in the other person the desire to then exact the revenge for the revenge that you exacted, right? So it just kind of keeps going. And if everybody is doing this, the scores will never be settled. Like that's the biggest thing is us getting revenge on someone for something they did the, the score will never be settled. And so let's look at these verses real quick, one by one. So do not repay anyone evil for evil. It's very cut and dry, right? We should be forgiving people. Now, listen, that's not condoning what they did. It's not forgetting or pretending it didn't hurt you, but it's letting go of those things, right? So not repaying evil with evil. The Bible is very clear. We should be forgiving people of the things they do to us. Be careful what to do. What is be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Now, it says as far as it is with you. That does not mean people are not going to create dissension or discord or drama in your life, in your situations. But that does not give you license to then retaliate, retaliate by doing something of equal or greater measure, right? So if somebody is talking about you negatively, you don't return the gossip. If somebody does something against you that slanders you or even physically harms you, you don't return the favor. So, you know, Jesus even says that he did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it, the law and the prophets. And so Jesus fulfilling that it's like, okay, now he has the authority to give us these new commands. Now, I understand that this is Paul speaking, right? But Jesus did not fight the people who put him on the cross. Jesus willingly went before the Sanhedrin and before Pilate. He willingly gave up his life. He did not re retaliate in any way. He even said, I could call my father in heaven and have legions of angels here. But he didn't. He didn't retaliate even to the people who were killing him, who were mocking him, who were beating him. He didn't do that. So we shouldn't either. All right, number 19. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, it is mine to avenge, I will repay. And this is actually Deuteronomy 32, 35, if you want to look it up. But essentially, when we take matters into our own hands, we're saying that we are 
the judges and juries. And that's almost a, a office joke, but we are the judges, judges and juries of these situations. So when somebody does something to us and we say, well, I'm gonna exact revenge, I'm gonna get even, um, then we're saying that we are righteous, that we have the authority to make that call. But we don't. We don't have that authority because we're imperfect and we're, imp we're not impartial. So we ourselves are not able to do that. So us doing that, we're not righteous enough to do that. God is. So we must give those things over to God. Lastly, on the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you'll heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. That very last line kind of sums it up. That we should be not stooping to the same level that was taken against us. We should be overcoming it with good because this is how we save people and bring them to the gospel. If we do what the world is already doing, then how are we any different than the world? But if we are overcoming evil with good by forgiving people and giving them grace and, and telling them that we're not going to hold it against them, even though that is not saying to put yourself back in the situation where you allow it, but if you still forgive them and say, I'm not going to hold on to this, I'm not going to get even, it looks so much more different than the rest of the world. So, I don't know. That was about it. That just stuck out to me. See you.